If you're using Localize for your projects, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a project with a simple JSON file in under 30 seconds. Let's get right into it. All right, now that you've seen the speed run, let me walk you through the steps that I did using keyboard and mouse so that you can also create projects in localized under 30 seconds. So this is how it starts. So we are on the projects screen or the project page. And you can see here that the first thing that I did was that I tapped and then I hit control shift P. Now, let me explain to you in the app why I did that. The reason why I did Ctrl Shift P is because the great thing about Localize is that it actually has some shortcuts within the within the app. Now, the reason why I actually had to tap first is that when you load the project screen, it by default starts in this search field. And when I'm in the search field, I'm going to now press Ctrl Shift P. What it actually triggers is it triggers the print dialog. So that's why I have to tab out uh, so that then I can hit Ctrl Shift P and it actually does what it's supposed to do. When this dialog opens, it's already in the first field project name. So nothing special here. I just type in countries and sometimes the, the player can be a little bit weird. Uh, so I just type the name of the project, nothing special there. Then I tap. If we have form with a bunch of fields, it's easier to use tap to go to the next field if we are going to be typing the text again, because otherwise you would have to, I don't know, if you're typing countries with both of your hands and then you want to move with your mouse to the next field, you would have to reach with your right or left hand, whatever you're using. Uh, to the mouse and then position the cursor to the next field and then click there and then you move your hand again back to the to the keyboard so that you can type with both of your hands so if our hands are already on the keyboard we can just use tab to navigate through the fields if you want to go back you can use shift tab uh, and then you can just type everything and fill out the whole form using your keyboard only so that's why we're tabbing next thing we are selecting the base language. Uh, by default, it is set to just English, but a good practice is to select the, let's say the flavor of the language based on the country that it's spoken in. So based on my experience, most of the, a lot of the customers are from United States. So that's why we wanna select United States. Now, the reason why I'm typing here ST, as you can see, is that because I found out that this combination of characters, because this here serves as a filter for the values. If I type ST, it's going to bring up the value that I want to select, in this case, English United States, to top positions in the selection so that it's easier for me to select it. And I can show you here. So if I just type, start typing E N. G. Now it's starting to show the English versions, but there are like English versions for so many countries. So I would have to scroll down and it would take a lot of more time for me to find United States, the value that I want. So that's why I typed in ST because that gives United States in the fourth position. And that means I only have to type three times down. So using the arrow keys, to select English United States, and then I just confirm it with enter. Now, next thing, moving on to the target languages, here you can actually see at the bottom right that I actually had to tap twice. The reason why I have to tap type twice is that the first tap actually selects this little tooltip here. So that's why you have to tap again if you want to go to the target languages. Okay, so from project name to base language, we moved with one tap from base language to target languages, 
we moved with two tabs. And now here, the same principle applies again as to the base languages. So it's pretty much the same drop down. It works the same way. Instead of this one, you can choose multiple values. So here I want to select German, Germany. And again, based on my experiments, what I found is that typing NY is the least amount of characters that I need to type in to bring Germany to the to the high position in the drop down list. If I start typing just German, there are many different flavors and my country that I want to select is a little bit lower. Okay, so again, maybe I'm repeating myself, your whole idea when you're filling out these forms, first of all, do not use mouse just to scroll down like a crazy chicken. Try to find the least amount of characters that you need to type in so that then you just have to do the minimum amount of movement either with your keyboard or mouse to select what you need. Okay, so for me, this one is for Germany, German, Germany, it's NY. And because it's in the second position, I just need to tap down once and then I do enter. And then immediately you can start typing the next languages. So the next two are quite easier because it's just Japanese. So I type JP, uh, which basically founds the, the language code here. And it's, the, in, it's again in the second position. And then I found Czech, Czech Republic. And it's the same thing. CZ just gives us two options here. All right, so I have everything set up here for the project type. I leave it as default because I'm using JSON files. If you had to select a different option, again, there's a way how you can do it just with keyboard. But what we're going to do right now is just hit Control Enter. And the reason why we're doing Control Enter is again that this um, form submission, like this button to proceed to create the project, has a shortcut. And you can see it right here, control enter. So that's why I'm doing that. So while we're waiting uh, for this form to be processed, you can already see that I'm moving my mouse to where I'm going to click next. So again, just to give you some ideas what to think about, like if you really want to speed things up by a few milliseconds or a few seconds, is that try to if you're waiting, try to see if you can do something um, like be ahead of what you will do next. So instead of just being here with my mouse at this point and then moving it, I already move my mouse to approximate position where I'm going to click once this page loads. So and in this case, I just really just click my mouse because I think that if I was using tab, I think it would start tabbing through all these um, other uh, things in the website. So just click upload files. And again, similar principle here while the and you can see here, so I clicked and while the upload files page is loading, I'm already out tabbing. So that should be familiar to you to my free commander where I have my file. And I'm just going to grab it just with my mouse and I'll tap back to localize. And then as soon as this screen loads, and I can drag my files here, I just drop them and it starts uploading the files. Now, it detected English language, but like I mentioned to you in the beginning, we want to sort of make sure that we also specify the country in which this English is spoken. So I'm going to just manually click here. Uh, to trigger the, the field and it's the same field like we had before, except this one is prettier because it has the flags, but I'm just going to again filter ST because uh, that is going to find my United States English. And I'm going to select this one because I want to make sure that it matches the base language that I set for my project. And here, uh, so I pressed enter to select English and then I did tab return. The reason why I did that is because I'm here in this field, tab actually puts me 
to the next active element, which is actually import files, which is what I want to do. That's how I want to, let's say, finish this screen where you upload the files. So that's why I just from here, I just tap and enter, which is going to confirm the import of this one file. And that's pretty much it. The file is uploaded. And then I just go back to the editor to show you that the files have been uploaded and processed and parsed and the translation can start. 